The Telangana government reiterated its request to the union government to confer the highest civilian award, Bharat Ratna, on former Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao. On its part, the Telangana government paid a befitting tribute to the Telugu bidder on Monday marking the concluding ceremony of the birth centenary celebrations of P. V. by unveiling a 26 feet statue near P. V. Nanabumi and Rakristan in the name of the Netless Road as P. V. Marg. The Telangana Board of Intermediate Results brought a mixed response from the second-year students and their parents on Monday, as a majority students felt satisfied, some, however, were unsatisfied with the results, citing they could have secured a better score if they had appeared for the examination. A total of 176,719 students secured a grade of the 4.5 lakh students. The state declared all students passed. Andhra Pradesh state government has decided to further relax lockdown restrictions in eight districts of the state from the 1st of July. The lockdown would be eased, and it would be only from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. According to the decision, there will be no relaxation in the existing lockdown curbs in Krishna, Prakasam, Chittor, West and East Godavari districts. Andhra Pradesh Agriculture Minister K. Kanababu said on Monday that the government would set up advanced food processing units in all assembly constituencies of the state at the cost of Rs. 2. 600 crore to promote horticulture crops and encourage farmers. The minister visited the mango vapor heating treatment plant, orchard cultivating nurseries and popcorn processing unit in Nuzvid and spoke to officials and farmers. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yediyurappa on Monday said he would write to his Kerala counterpart Pinarayi Vijayan requesting him to stop changing names of places in Kasaragad district of Kerala bordering the state from Kannada to Malayalam. The Chief Minister said Malayalis and Kanadigas in Kasaragad and Manjeshwi have been living harmoniously, hence it is not proper to change the Kannada names of places to Malayalam. The Supreme Court on Monday refused to stay the Delhi High Court order that allows private schools in Delhi to collect annual charges on development fee for 2021 to 2022, ruling that the state cannot be aggrieved with an arrangement between the schools and parents. The Indian Space Research Organization is racing against time to launch the first uncrewed mission in December, as part of the human spaceflight program Gaganian, due to the adverse impact of the COVID-19, induced lockdowns that has disrupted hardware delivery schedules. Officials of the Bengaluru headquartered space agency said the first and second waves of the pandemic have severely affected the Gaganian program. Amid a standoff with the Indian government over compliance with new IT rules, the Twitter website is displaying a wrong map of the country that shows Jammu and Kashmir, and Ladakh as separate country. The glaring distortion, which appears on the career section of Twitter website under the header Tweet Life, has triggered a heavy backlash from netizens who are demanding strict action against the microblogging platform. Actor Suchitra Pillai has only done two films in her mother tongue Malayal until now but she hopes the upcoming thriller Cold Case acts as a springboard for her in South Cinema. The 50-year-old actor said she was happy when Cold Case director Tanu Balak told her that she was his first and only choice to play Zara's Ake, a clairvoyant who is an integral part of solving the murder mystery in the film. The 36-year-old Rinaldo capped a lackluster season in Portugal's 1-0 loss to Belgium in the round of 16 at Euro 2020 on Sunday. Even though he scored more than 40 goals with his club and his country, his numbers were far from impressive by his standards. He failed to win the Italian league with Juventus, where his future remains uncertain with his contract ending next year.